الفايف دو ون فوس محمد شرف فيديو اور سبجيكت تو داي از تو توك اباوت فيبر كومبريشن ريفريشريشن سايكل باي باي ذا يوز اوف فوتو فولتيك سولار فوتو فولتيك فيرست اوف اول يو هاف تو اساين يور فولدر داونلود فولدر بيكوز Suppose you that your folder of download is is here. Uh, don't open your models uh, on uh, desktop. You have to assign it from your. This is your working folder. Suppose it's this is your working folder. Therefore, you have to go uh, from uh, your drives to your uh, working uh, folder. Okay, in order to uh, specify. Uh, your uh, model okay this is my working uh, folder okay I'm going for uh, vapor compression uh, this is very important vapor compression by the use of uh, photovoltaic this is the folder the main folder I extracted it therefore uh, you will find your uh, uh, figures photos don't move any of of this contents from the folder okay and we have to run uh, our uh, SLX uh, model Weber, Weber compression refrigeration cycle photovoltaic okay uh, okay this is our main cycle uh, okay this is our main cycle we demonstrated this before as a Weber compression only but we have to add uh, I just added a photovoltaic system for Uh, uh, the power requ uh, requirements uh, uh, load on a uh, compressor okay uh, okay this is our cycle we have, as you can see here we have uh, evaporator a compressor a condenser unit and expansion valve okay this is uh, the representation of the cycle on TS diagram we have uh, for evaporator TLO it's uh, the operational process from 4 to 1 and we have compression process uh, not in ideal case of course because we have to assign our efficiency and we have from 2 down to 3 it's a, a condenser uh, uh, heat and then expansion uh, through the expansion valve okay first of all you have to check uh, from view go to your model browser and check all of this Uh, let's run our model dynamically. You have to us go here, and you can run a single uh, uh, point run by using uh, zero. You can in simulation time you can run it zero or infinity, or you can specify your simulation time uh, uh, based on your uh, analysis. Okay, as you can see here, this is our cycle. We have you can log in. Uh, Uh, on your models double clicking on for example this is our condition unit so you can uh, uh, edit this is your inputs and these are your outputs so you can reform or edit and or add uh, more uh, inputs or outputs um, uh, based on your uh, design I think this is for refrigerant R uh, 134A. Okay, let's go here. Okay, um, you can assign or adjust your inputs by double clicking on your mother block. So you can, as you can see here, control some uh, inputs. For example, what is your uh, evaporator temperature? Okay, what is your condenser temperature? Okay, this is your limitations and um, a refrigerant load. Suppose it's around uh, four ton per, per hour or three ton per hour. Let's go for three. And your inlet air temperature is around, uh, for example, uh, 15 degrees Celsius. Okay, and uh, uh, cooling uh, air temperature um, tube diameter. Okay, and uh, outer evaporator diameter, inner 
diameter for uh, the evaporator coil okay and um, what is your evaporator thermal conductivity you can assign your material suppose it's a copper aluminium whatever for effectiveness i will stick myself at uh, 80 percent okay and for refrigerant let it be minus 10 hit apply okay and before going you have to go inside and double clicking on our uh, th this is our compressor we have to um, discover three outputs uh, what is your output uh, output enthalpy superheat temperature and uh, compressor uh, load power okay and there is some um, uh, indicators you can add many indicators you have to go here it's using uh, dashboard drag and drop I can uh, put it here uh, let it be we are trying to discover uh, evaporator okay thermal evaporator load double clicking and then you can choose here click here okay this is our thermal uh, suppose it's uh, from one up to 500 uh, kilowatt and hitting apply we can add color we can add color up to 500 okay um, suppose it's uh, orange for example I hit apply and okay 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 you have to double clicking on your uh, uh, photovoltaic uh, okay we have two uh, types of modules we have watt per meter square or kilowatt hour per meter square i will stick myself at uh, solar addition type watt per meter square hitting apply okay going inside okay this is uh, this is uh, our models watt per meter square double clicking on it you can assign your operating hour uh, uh, solar radiation uh, suppose it's around 500 watt per meter square you can control this and see the effect on your area okay what is our design uh, I, I will choose module type 280 module type most efficient uh, battery depth battery voltage uh, suppose it's a 24 voltage battery cost of the battery and okay so i adjusted my inputs and now let's go and see uh, this is i have to close this one let's go and see uh, by controlling while running by controlling but don't forget to send your uh, output streams uh, to the signal indicator you have to uh, double clicking on the stream and be sure that your your stream is uh, sent to signal data inspector okay okay let's go emphasize here and show our effect on some indicators that's it run and see okay i will i will trying to increase um uh, the, um, decreasing the load okay and see the effect on coefficient of performance as you can see uh, okay up to zero uh, okay condenser temperature if you increase the, your condenser temperature you will decrease your coefficient of performance okay uh, refrigerant load let's increase our refrigerant load you, increasing your refrigerant load will increase your power compressor power and fan power as you can see here fan power is is increased therefore uh, the area of your photovoltaic system will increase and surely the cost of your photovoltaic system uh, would increase as you can see here I'm trying to increase and surely the mass flow rate 
Nice for it. So the cycle, okay. But this is a little a temperature or the fan power, okay. As you can see here, uh, okay. That's increasing the refrigerant load to 90 ton per hour. And we have to hit OK and stop our running. Okay, so as you can see here, our indicators, you can go inside photovoltaic system and realize this is your number of modules, cell area, uh, total system area is around 1000 meter uh, square meters, battery storage and the uh, number of batteries. And this is your cost, total cost of uh, photovoltaic panels. Uh, uh, number of module efficiency is around 15%. And uh, open circuit voltage, short circuit current, and so on. So you can go here and discover your outputs from, the, from your cycle. As you can see, this is your mass flow rate, it's around 2.2 uh, kilogram per second. Steel quality is around uh, 0 0.2 uh, or 26 or 27 uh, percent. This is your quality. The thermal uh, evaporator power, evaporator area. So you can go here in your data inspector and see. Uh, the fluctuation of your uh, outputs let's go for co coefficient of performance as you can see here a condenser area and this is your con condenser power and uh, we have here fan power air velocity so the fan a cooling uh, mass flow rate a cooling air mass flow rate okay Outlet uh, cooling air temperature, uh, compressor power, okay, and we have his uh, superheat temperature decreasing and increasing. Outlet compressor enthalpy, uh, coil evaporator lens, uh, evaporator area, and thermal power of the evaporator. And this is your steam quality. This is your steam quality. You can uh, discover this is mass flow rate. Okay, it's our mass flow rate. So we have uh, many, many parameters to uh, discover and see what is our effect uh, by changing your load on your photovoltaic system. So you can, if you want, if you would like to discover your, uh, the effect on photovoltaic system, you have to go here, photovoltaic, and let's go here and let's go here number of modules you have to check this one this is small square be sure it's appeared and it's a uh, cell area per module area module area okay uh, total system area okay and, and battery storage you can uh, check all of this and go here and select a stream selected signal to data inspector and if you change it anything you will realize it um, immediately in your uh, data inspector okay uh, finally i would like to thank you very much for your um, interest in our model uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe uh, thank you very much